with Robert Crumb, right? So was he part of the surf movement then? Not at all. He actually just came in to do a surf comic book with me and Rick Griffin and Robert Williams and a couple other people. Surfer Magazine decided at some point to do a surfing comic book and they wanted to get like underground comic artists but nobody surfed except for me and Rick. So we got together everybody we knew and Robert and uh, you know, Robert Crumb and everybody. They were, they were like, it was a comic jam and uh, I worked with Robert Williams and a couple other artists, Ed Newton was a really good friend of his at the time. And we actually passed the panels around. You can see Robert started that one, and then someone else started this one. I, once Robert handed it to me, I did this, then another guy did this, then Ed did that. So what we did was we just we did, sat around all night, like basically till 5 o'clock in the morning, passing these panels around and then putting them together. So they really don't have any sequence at all. And then they ended up in an underground comic book. Wow. You're doing, doing the psychedelic posters, but you've also done like Fugazi's posters, Pearl Jam, uh, Beck, all that, yeah. Um, Even you too. Anybody really famous? first collaboration was for the poster for Swell, which was called Bitchin at the time. And um, we called the look of that poster apocalyptic pop. Fireproof. Fireproof. Fireproof is what I figured. Yeah. 